afternoon, folks. Get back with this quitting smoking series, and now nah, I seem to have been half as successful at it. Throw some caveats in here. This series has been made over me. <laughs> the first, getting through the first three days has been made over me quitting probably five times. Uh, until finally it stuck. Uh, you'll notice the next couple of videos we, they, they, they probably made the same day I'm wearing the same shirt. Uh, they are made the same day. They're uh, I got a few days behind because I was what happened is I had to take off work for a week for to get a heart catheter done. And this day three is actually the day of the heart catheter. And uh, so several of these days are gonna be while well, I was off work and I didn't have access to my camera on camera was in my truck. And uh, but I'm still gonna do them like each day. I took notes and each day, you know, what I'm going through and this, that, and the other. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this up to day seven and then I'm gonna start doing one a week. Like week two, week three, week four. Uh, to a point and then it, you know, it kind of becomes redundant. Uh, anyways. This is day three, and like I said, right now, eh, yeah, right about right, right. I'm laying on a hospital bed. Done have my heart catheter done. Um, so far, I've done every test. I've took a stress test. They said my stress test had a minor abnormality, and I had an echo. Which they said was great. Then they had me wear a heart monitor for a week, which they said was fine. But now the doctor did my heart cath, which I don't know if everybody out there knows what a heart catheter is, but they basically take a catheter, a little scar right there on my wrist, a little mark. They take a catheter, they run it up through your wrist or through your groin. And they go probing all your arteries, your big main arteries, looking for blockage. While they're doing this, they can put in stents. They can do angioplasty, which is where they blow a balloon up inside your artery to like stretch it and break uh, blockage loose. Uh, several other things. Uh, there's only one step of heart surgery above this, and that'd be getting open open heart surgery which is bypass surgery that's what you don't want that's, that's bad business uh, so anyways I got the heart cast done my doctor's exact words was he wished he had arteries as clean as mine so my, my arteries are clean as a teenager's God save the queen, I'm glad for her, you know, that's one less problem. So the next step I gotta do is go to a lung doctor. But to tell you the truth, I quit smoking three days before this heart cath. And now I've been quit, well, we're gonna say three days. Uh, cause, and every day I'm feeling better. Now back in the day, I would quit smoking and in three to five days, I'd feel like I need never smoked a cigarette before in my life. But we are getting older here. And body doesn't quite bounce back from its abuses quite so fast. So we're at day three, let's say, and it's uh I'm doing better. Uh, seem to be sleeping a little better. 
definitely breathing a little better. The hacking is way better. cast wasn't that bad really the only thing recovery from it is they told me I couldn't drive a truck for a few days because that mark I showed you on my wrist that one right there uh, that's where they run the catheter up through and it's a tube of, I don't know what a good description I saw the tube about the same size as a The wire on your cell phone charger about the size it was it's about maybe a little smaller than an eighth of an inch and that's what they run everything through all the tools that they can run through to do, do the business well anyways they got to rip a hole that size in your artery your main artery right there in your arm right in your wrist well if After the surgery's done, they they put this plastic thing on it with this balloon, and that's what keeps pressure on it. They keep that pressure on it for a couple hours, and then they gradually release the pressure off it with a with a syringe. Then they take the plastic thing off, and they uh, put a like a plastic wrap around it. But mine kept oozing, so they uh, it wasn't bleeding. Because if it bled, it would bleed squirt gun bleed um, and that's what they tell you if it starts bleeding so just put two fingers on it and call 911 and uh cause it's not something you know just like a like a paper cut that's just gonna stop bleeding you're gonna need medical attention Anyways, I got it all done, but that's really the only recovery from it is that letting that artery heal. Uh, when they first started doing it, they put you on that not the anesthesia that knocks you all the way out, but the anesthesia just kind of makes you off in la la land like you don't know what's going on, like they use for like colonoscopies and stuff like that. Uh, the uh, And when you come off that anesthesia, I mean, you're fine. And they, they keep you for six hours after this. Uh, if they have to put any stints or anything in, they'll keep you overnight. But generally, they keep you for six hours after this just to make sure this, this artery is getting sealed. Other than that, there is no side effects from it. None that I can tell. Pretty straightforward surgery if you ever gotta have to have it. No reason to be scared of it. Uh, still waiting on my sleep doctor. Sleep doctor's been a kind of a pain in my butt. Keeps postponing. Then he ended up canceling my appointment and going out of town. And I haven't been able to get a hold of him. And something I'm finding out is sleep doctors aren't exactly a dime a dozen. They, they, there aren't a lot of them. So it's not like I can simply just run out and grab another one. At least not in my part of the country, there's none. But that's what my day three consisted of. And, um, yeah, I'd probably want a cigarette pretty good. I, uh, but I finally got it in my brain that I just cannot smoke anymore. Uh, it's going to kill me. Probably still going to kill me. It's probably still what's going to kill me in my life. All the years I smoked and the damage it's done. But by getting it out and 
do my best to get back healthy, I can preserve more time. Uh, and I leg up, luck up and make a full recovery. And, uh, but I'm 50. I've smoked for 38 years. I have done damage. trying to tell me, you know, you know, I just, you know, one more pack, we'll quit after this next pack, or, uh, you know, this, that, or the other, you make excuses yourself, and, uh, I've come to, to realize that, you know, they're, they're bunk. Uh, their they, their own wants trying to trick fuck your brain into getting getting things their way, and I'm so I'm finding them a little easier to fight, I guess you could say. As uh, but God willing, tomorrow be day four, and I'll tell you how I'm doing then. Y'all have a blessed day, and I'll see you on the flip side. <laughs>